Hi, I'm Scott Denstead, working at Foreflight as their weather scientist. We're going to talk about today uh, some of the new features we've added for Foreflight Mobile 7.1. Well, we, uh, we knew at Foreflight that we didn't have all the available images that were available on the internet that pilots were using. So we decided to, to beef it up a little bit and bring those images into Foreflight. Those you might fly, find on aviationweather.gov. And we pulled all those in, plus a lot of new products that pilots aren't familiar with, but are very useful for pilots in their pre-flight planning. In Foreflight Mobile, we realized that pilots don't necessarily need to, to plan necessarily right before their for, uh, flight, but also for the longer range. You're making a flight on, uh, on Tuesday, and you want to know what's happening on your return flight on Friday. In the fourth flight, we decided to add some more products like the probability of precipitation or POP forecast. It allows that longer three to seven range uh, of kind of uh, flight planning. So you can see kind of how the weather might um, unfold over the next uh, couple of days. We've also extended the prog charts. Now the prog charts go out to, to seven days, which again allows you more pre-flight planning capability uh, for that return trip or even for long range kind of flight planning that you're gonna do in the, in the near future. And something else that we've added too is more of a, of a picture of what's happening from a thunderstorm perspective. You know, wintertime we don't see much in the way of thunderstorms uh, unless you go down into Florida or the deep south. But we wanted to give a, a better perspective for a thunderstorm forecast. Now, a lot of pilots are, may be familiar with the, the CCFP or the convective uh, forecast product you may have seen on ads. We've certainly pulled that into the picture. We've also added the extended CCFP product, which gives six hour uh, time chunks that, are, that goes out to three days in the future. Now it tells you about the, the essential uh, convective uh, potential in that particular area. So if you're planning a flight from point A to point B, it'll give you a good idea whether or not thunderstorms will be a problem for, for your particular flight. So in, in for, uh, for Flight Mobile, uh, the previous version, we basically had uh, all the collections ordered alphabetically, and that doesn't make a lot of sense for most people. So we've, uh, we've changed that up. We've tried to order the collections in a, in a somewhat useful way. So we start out with the kind of, a, think about a funnel, uh, where you start out with the sort of the big scale features in the atmosphere, highs and lows and fronts. And you work your way down to route specific details, things like icing and turbulence and pilot reports. Uh, so we've, we've chosen uh, that order based on that. So you'll see some of the big picture kind of aspects, uh, stuff like uh, prog charts, which give you a, sort of the, the CONUS view or the view over the United States or even North America. And then you work your way down to uh, advisories like G Airmets. And finally looking at icing products and also turbulence products, as well as things like pilot reports would give you more route specific details. And the other aspect to this too is that some of the the products that are at the top of the funnel also go out longer range. And that's where you're going to find your three to seven day uh, forecast, usually at the top. And, and most of the time, uh, that's very useful to pilots because we're just uh, checking every once in a while to see what the, uh, the new forecast has for our return trip, for instance. So one of the other products we added is the model output statistics. Now, in back in Four Flight Mobile 6.8, we added uh, model output statistics for each and every airport, and that allows airport specific information for a forecast for that out to three days in the future. Perfect for that, that longer range kind of flight planning. It gives you information on ceilings and visibility as well as wind uh, in the longer range. And it goes beyond the normal TAF range of, of 24 uh, to 30 hours in the future. So in Four Flight Mobile 7.1, we added a graphical picture of that. Uh, it's called uh, GFS Moss, and it has a ceiling and visibility component. Now it's a categorical forecast, so it doesn't give you specific numbers, but it gives you a range of numbers, so you can tell whether or not where you're going is going to be low IFR or marginal VFR or even clear below 12,000 feet in those particular areas. So it gives you an excellent opportunity to sort of pick the window of opportunity that's best for you, and it goes out to three days with a time step of, of three hours. This is Scott Denstead, Four Flight Weather Scientist. Thanks for watching. And for more information and to learn more about the, the new imagery we've added, stay tuned to our blog. That would be blog.forflight.com. And feel free to send us an email at team at if you have any questions.